All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity and patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to the apostles of GMS, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit of power of Yahweh. Bahashom Yahweh Shai Bahashom Rakakadash. And this is going to be a video about spirit Joe Power because, you know, we're getting ready to enter into a time where, you know, the Lord is going to have to give his elect men spiritual power, you know. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> um, only a standard of the Lord's elect is going to receive spiritual power in that day. So, you know, spiritual power is one of, you know, well, one of the um, prophecies um, written up in the scriptures. Now, you might ask, what is spiritual power? Well, sp first off, spiritual power is a gift from the Heavenly Father. And not just any old person can receive spiritual power, okay? You have to be of the elect of the nation of Israel on this side to receive spiritual power. And spiritual power is going to be given to those of whom the Most High, you know, deemed, deemed, know it's worthy to receive it so uh um i just want to see uh what's the matter with let me type this in Oops. yeah you know summertime just feels so short-lived <laughs> man i'm telling you it's already chilly outside and it's nighttime so yes um, Isaiah, let me see Isaiah. So I'm gonna start with Isaiah chapter 40. Actually, I can read it right here. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So they're gonna renew their strength, okay? Because, well, like it tells you in the book of Revelation, the third chapter, thou has but a little strength and has not denied my name. Okay, just roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, the elect, you know, you know, the, the Lord, the men of the Lord, they're not gonna be these, you know, high and mighty, you know, top dogs on the planet, you know, ride, ride and yelling at everybody and making empty threats and all that shit, no. The Lord's elect is gonna be humble. The scriptures say, whoso, uh, whoso shall humble himself uh, shall be exalted. Who's gonna exalt the, 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 the men of the Lord? The Lord is. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is going to exalt his elect men. Okay? So we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be, hey, it's going to get crazy out here, but we ain't, we going we, you know, I mean, it's one thing to be angry and it's truth, you know, the scriptures say, be ye angry and sin not. But to be angry and, and you know, to be, you know, like, trying, trying to act like, you know, that tough dude, man, most I ain't looking for that. Most high is looking for someone who's humble, who's sincere, who's studying, fasting, praying, you know, doing their videos. That's what the Lord is looking for. So it says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. Okay, so it's not talking about actual wings. That's talking about having the ability to fly. The Lord's elect is going to have the ability to fly. Okay, me personally, when I was a little kid, I've always wanted to have the ability to fly. Because flying does what? It, it, it liberates you from, from where you can and cannot go. Because if you're stuck on the ground, think about it. You know, you're gonna have to drive around this corner, you gotta drive around this block. You know, you gotta you gotta go here, you gotta go there, you gotta walk over this this go you gotta walk over this grocery store just 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 to get to point A to point B. But if you're flying up in the air, man. You can skip all that. You can fly over any and everything. So flying liberates you from being restricted on the ground. You see? So they shall mount up with wingle. They, they, shall, uh, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be wary. Okay? And they shall walk and not faint. So... 
the elect is going to be able to run and not get tired. Think about that, man. Okay? I mean, shit. You run for about 45 seconds and you're already, you know, out of breath and shit. You know? You jog for over a minute and, and, and 30 seconds and you about ready to stop and call it quits, man. You know, you ride a bike up a hill and you ready to just walk, uh, walk, walk the rest of the way down. Well, walk, walk the rest of the way up because it's easy riding a bike downhill. But you get what I'm saying though, okay? So, Okay, so, so yeah, you know, and you know, they show you that in movies like Axeman, like look at the Flash. You think the Flash gets tired every time he runs? Look how fast that dude can run, okay? That dude, that dude can run forever if he wanted to and not get tired. So guess what? The Lord's Elect is gonna have that, that capability, being able to fly and not get tired, being able to run for as long as you can and not get tired. Hey. So now, let me get my next uh, scripture. In Asalakia, I am gonna have to cut it short because I am on break right now, and I'm gonna have to clock back in real soon. So I'm on break at work right now, so I'm gonna have to clock back in soon. Uh, now, my next scripture is this. Let's see. Bear with me for uh, one moment. I believe it's in the book of John. The book of John, yeah. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, uh, shall he do also. So think about that. Yeah, I wish I did many wonderful works before in the past. Okay? Like teleportation, he walked on water, you know, <laughs> he, he, he walked he walked through doors. I mean, he, he had the power to heal people, bring people back from the dead. He had the power to, to he had the power to, uh, to no, he, he turned water into wine. I mean, I mean, look at when, when, the, when, when the scribes and Pharisees tried to kill him, you know, he disappeared in the midst of a whole crowd, man. You know, it ain't like he just, you know, a crowd showed up and he just blend in with the crowd and, and they, they they lost him. Nah, man. Nah, yeah, yeah. How was I? He literally disappeared in the midst of a crowd when when they tried to stone him. So guess what? We're gonna do even greater works than those. You know? Yeah. How was I performed so many miracles? You can't. They can't be recorded in a book because there's just so many miracles he did. You know, he 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 calmed the winds and and and, and the seas. When when uh Peter, when 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 Peter and some other disciples was on the ship with him, okay. When 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 when, when the storm grew violent, yeah, how should I calm the winds and the sea, okay? So guess what? The elect is gonna be able to do those things too, man, okay? In which uh spiritual power is a manipulation of the elements. 
So guess what? You're gonna be able to call down lightning. You're gonna be able to shoot fireballs out of your hands, shoot ion beams, lasers. Uh, 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 fucking hell! If you want to throw a command man in there, you can too. You're gonna be able to fly, teleport. You know, you'll be. You're gonna be a, a, a like like the things you see the angels do, man. You see how they be like like going into different dimensions and shit. You're gonna be able to do that. Okay, so, hey, you just gotta be patient, man. Wait on the Lord. Now, okay, so. One more scripture because uh, I gotta, I have to clock back in by 10 o'clock. So there's one more I would like to get. Oh, you know what? I could probably just get it myself from there. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. Who's the they? The they is talking about the elect. The elect is going to fear the name of the Lord from the west. Okay? And his glory from the rising of the sun. Okay? When the enemy shall come in like a flood. When, when who shall come in like a flood? You know, the, these different troops, man, like the, these uh, stormtroopers, Russian stormtroopers, Chinese stormtroopers, North Korean stormtroopers, uh, uh, UN stormtroopers, uh, United Nations uh, stormtroopers, okay? So when they shall come in like a flood, okay? Hell, even the two thirds of our people, because hey, real soon, we're not going to have a, a, a good view by the public eye. So even people is going to start, you know, trying to come after us. So the Lord's going to have to give his, uh, you know, the Lord's going to give his, his, his elect men spiritual power to, to, you know, get out of there. Which, uh, you know, I looked up this word, a uh, standard before in Isaiah 59 and 19. And you know what it means? It means to, to, to be hidden, to flee. Like, like, as like having the ability to turn invisible, you know? So, hey, you know how ESO got all these damn radars and GPSs and, you know, they can pretty much map out your, your whole entire house with this 5G technology? You ain't gonna be able to find the Lord's elect. Hell, one minute you might be on their radar, the next minute the red dot is gone. They like, where does God go? They gonna think you, you're hidden in a house somewhere? Nah, okay? You know, when somebody break, you know, when the uh, martial law break into your house, you know, you might be able to see yourself, but they may not be able to see you. Okay. So when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Okay. Because not everyone. Well, yeah, you know, all of the e, e, all of the Lord's elect is going to get spiritual power. But there, there are some that's going to die. But guess what? E e e even the men of the Lord who die in this truth, even they're going to get spiritual power because they're going to have spiritual power when Yahweh Shai return. Okay? They're going to have spiritual power. So this is talking about the standard of the elect right here that's not going to die because like Yahweh Shai said in the book of Matthew, there be some standing here which shall not taste the death but shall see the, the coming of the Son of Man in his glory. So the, the ones of, of the elect that's not going to die, you know, which which people is pretty, I know people's unaware, but there's men on this planet that are immortal because, and you know why they're immortal? Because they're not going to die. <laughs> they're never going to taste death and they're going to receive spiritual power to defend themselves. Okay. Numbers 23 and 19, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So there's going to be, you know, those that are of the elect, of the elect standard, that's going to receive spiritual power, okay? To, to, to defend themselves against these soldiers, because these soldiers, they, 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 they're going to be coming at the Lord's elect with AKs, with lightning guns, metal storm 1000s, fucking newly created beasts. It's going to be a mess out here, man. So the Lord's elect is going to have spiritual power to defend themselves. All right, but with that, I'm going to say this is the year 2020, the year of prophecy. Kwame Allah is on to the next one. Shalom.